Provo Beast here doing another install. Today we're doing a 2013 Hyundai Elantra GLS. First thing we're going to do is remove these trim panel pieces that surround the radio. Really all you have to do is start at the bottom. I have a plastic panel removal tool so it doesn't damage the uh, just kind of work in there. Be very gentle. And what you're going to do is just work that along separate this piece and this whole silver piece will come out. So I worked my hand around. As this pops up, you can see these clips. And you just work your way. And I've already kind of moved the, the pressure on those clips. This clips all the way down. Remove that. The other side's gonna be identical. Again, just take your time. You don't wanna damage any of this, only because it's expensive to replace these parts. Kind of just slowly get underneath it. I just use the panel popping tool to get it started, and it's actually easier to control with your, your fingers. Just work it little by little. And don't rush it. Just like that. Okay, now you're gonna notice these Phillips head screws. We're gonna remove these three on each side, six total. Okay, so after that, once those six screws are removed, what I did is I got my little panel tool and got up underneath, and basically worked its way loose. And this whole piece is one, except for the radio is separate. Just be gentle. They're all, again, clips after the screws have been removed. Now we don't have to fully, fully pull that out at this moment. And that'll expose one, two, three, four screws for the radio. Make sure all your CDs are pulled out before you disconnect. Okay, so after those four came out, you just kind of wiggle it loose and the whole radio will come out. Tuck that up there. Now there's gonna be a few harnesses in the back. Just go ahead and disconnect everything there. And then the radio will come free. For running the uh, amplifier kit for the RCAs, what we've done here is I've pulled out, basically pushing in the tabs of the glove box. It comes down, allowing you a little bit of access to run RCAs from the stereo cavity down and pull it through. Now from this point, I'm gonna obviously not have it come out here, but continue along down. And what we're gonna do is work the wire all the way down probably out right up underneath here so we can just tuck it underneath the carpet working our way underneath the kick panels to the rear of the vehicle now these will plug in into our new pioneer okay I just uh, plugged everything in to the back of the radio the mic the main harness and the antenna and my RCA since I'm running um, signal wire back to the the amp itself uh, along with these RCAs with them was the remote turn on wire which I tapped into the blue and white wire coming out of the, the aftermarket radio and then so at this point I'm gonna put in these four screws that hold in the stereo and then just a slow reversal of my um, removal to put everything back together first thing here is we're gonna need power for the amp uh, because the factory electrical in the car can't support how many watts we're pulling or amperage and so we're going to tap into the battery to this power point we'll probably go right here directly off the battery or right here just because we want to get closest to the terminal and don't want to get behind any of these fuses what we're going to do is look for firewall access and then there's going to be a grommet down in there if you can kind of see it's, it has that little green strip on it kind of shimmers in the light if i can zoom in a little bit better Anyways, that is your factory grommet. We're going to poke a little hole through it, gaining access through the firewall to run a power wire. We'll show you how that's done. All right, so what we did is you can try to see down there. All right, right there. Not the best image, but as you can see, I poked a little hole back there, and the easiest way is I went through. I'll show you here in a minute. I drilled just a small hole on the other side in that grommet because it's housed with plastic besides rubber. And then I just poked this wire through. There 
There you go. Just poked it right up through the grommet using this drill. It's still nice and snug, so it does make a seal around the wire, so you shouldn't have any moisture issues. Now from there, I'm gonna start tucking it right underneath this panel using the tuck method. Because this wire is small enough, you can do so. And start running it underneath these panels just by tucking it. We're gonna make our way to the truck. Okay. So from there, I've tucked it just up underneath this little lip here. Up underneath all the key panels. Made it to this point so far. Super easy because it's only an 8 gauge wire. Typically any bigger, you would have to remove these panels. But I've just been tucking up underneath, making sure it won't slip out. I'll go up underneath here. Now we may have to pull out the back seat to get good access. But what we'll, we'll do is we'll mount the amp on the back of the seat. We're gonna find a good ground down here around the seatbelt bolt area. And then back from our other segment, we're gonna start routing those RCAs correctly through the front on the other side of the car, same tuck method, and work our way to the back here. Okay, so we finished running the wire. We, uh, for the back seat, it lifts up if you just pull, giving you enough access to run wire. You can kind of see it there, just because I haven't really tucked it away quite yet. And then having, having it come out right in the back there. Now we'll find a good place to mount the amp. A lot of the time we'll do it on the back of the seat just because it's out of the way and allows you, if you need to, to have extra space to disconnect the sub without messing with any of the wire on the amplifier. So next step here is we're gonna move to our RCAs, which you've seen in the previous segment, how we ran it through the stereo cavity. Rather than coming out where it is now, we're gonna feed it up underneath, down, up under the, by the kick panel, and same as the power wire, do a tech method to the back of the car. All right, so we've now relocated, ran those cables back as I show, showed before. Um, kind of tucked down here, up underneath the kick panel. And then that's where we've gotten to this point. Just like the power wire, we'll run all the way to the back. And uh, when we get to this point, we'll actually go up underneath the seat, work our way to the same area where the amp's gonna be mounted on the driver's side back seat. Okay, so we ran the RCAs all the way across underneath the seat. And what we did, okay. See that seat belt bolt that anchors the lower seat cushion? We took that bolt out, it's 12 millimeter clean the paint off and then that's what we used for our ground so with the ground wire we'll put a ring terminal on put it directly to the metal put the bolt in and so the power wire the ground and the RCAs with the remote turn on wire all come out right here we'll clean these up with zip ties so they look nice now it's time to mount the amp and run the speaker wire to the subwoofer once that's done we'll hook everything up to the battery and we're playing music all right so we're losing a little light here. So we got the amp mounted. Put it there. Got the uh, positive and negative all hooked up. Black is ground, red is positive, as you've seen in previous segments. It's a little blurry. We'll put some RC or uh, some speaker wire and put some zip ties so it's all nice and anchored. Blue wire goes to the speakers, the, the sub box everything else you've seen wired before. So the purpose behind the back of the seat is that it'll fold away when we don't need it. Um, amp is done besides the tuning. Next segment here, we're gonna quickly finish up the front at the battery and uh, should be about it. 10 inch um, Kipker preloaded woofer. This is 300 watt RMS. Um, let's see if we can get a model number for you. Post it also below. That's what we'll have to do not an issue but single voice coil 300 watts RMS is the compass edition we'll put this in our um, Hyundai Elantra video so be sure to check that out you can see this thing in action all right so we've got now the battery all hooked up here as you can see put it on the main stud cut a little uh, slit there so the wire could sit by that shuts we mounted the fuse right on the actual fuse box there's nothing underneath here so it's safe to put a screw right there to mount that down we're gonna get some zip ties and clean this up real nice. 
um, so there's no loose wires hanging out. And that's about it. Now it's time to test and tune. All right, so everything's good to go. Sorry, it's a little bit dark, but you can kind of see the lights on the back. This is just the radio, so the sound quality is not that great. Subs in, sounds really good. What we did in addition, I didn't necessarily show it just because he just run a wire for it, but we put in a bass knob that came with the, the Boss amp. And basically it's similar to a phone cable. It goes all the way back, just plugs in the amp and you can adjust the base. We just put it there in that little pocket. Um, yep, yeah, all good to go. Any questions about this full sub install, just post a comment below and I'll get back to you. Uh, go ahead and throw a like and a subscribe and I'll keep getting videos up for you. Thanks for watching.